those are typically our users of the national airspace that are really taking advantage or spending a lot of time in class G airspace. So anytime, kind of to bring this back to an actual point, is anytime you're out there flying and you're learning airspace, you want to look at the airspace you're going to and you want to see, hey, is there class E to the surface? So let's find one that's class E to the surface. I'm going to search around here. The way we can tell, excuse me, the way we can tell there's class E to the surface is it has that dashed solid magenta line instead of the shaded magenta line. And so right here we've got Renner Field in, in Goodland, Kansas is class echo to the surface. And it's also not a perfect circle. It has a little bit of a, a, a circle with a little kind of, it's a key shape, you know, and that key opens up to the to the southeast of the field. So what we can also assume here is that there's probably some sort of procedure that comes in to from the southeast, right? And so we could pull up maybe this ILS and sure enough the ILS extends down that's to runway 30. So it starts the southeast of the field and goes to the northwest. So that key outlet we could overlay that on our map. So that key opens up and that that's what protects that IFR traffic from now class echo. So you have those cloud clearance requirements. It's not just one mile clear clouds. You have the, the clearance requirements to avoid a collision all the way down to the surface. So now we didn't just have an applicant memorize what airspace was, or if you're just watching this as a student, now you kind of know the why behind that. And I think it helps you have a better fundamental understanding. And instead of that rote memorization, you actually know the why, and now you know the regs better, and it's gonna help make you a safer pilot.